Hey guys, today I want to do a little demo of my Deep Six compressor from uh, Walrus Audio. And uh, I've had this pedal for a little while now, so I've gotten some time to get to know it and uh, know more how it works. Uh, as some of you probably know, this, uh, this compressor replaced my diamond compressor that I had for a long time, and uh, um, I'll tell you why I replaced it. So. Um, just so you know, for this demo, I'm playing my Telecaster, which has a Seymour Duncan Antiquity pickups in it, into a, uh, a matchless Clubman. And I'm not running any other, I mean, it's running through my pedal board, but none of the other pedals are on, other than a little buffer. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you what my clean sound, uh, what it sounds like without the compressor on here. So that's my clean signal, and let me turn, I'll just turn on the settings that are on there. And here it is with the compressor. So, that's kind of the, the main setting I use, you can see the knobs there. I'm gonna. Um, right now I'm going to go through the different uh, knobs and show you really what this pedal can do. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to talk more about the blend knob later here here on the, the bottom left. Um, right now I'm going to turn it all the way to the right because basically when, when it's there it's acting like a normal compressor. Um, so basically the blend knob can blend in the compressed signal with my original guitar signal. Um, and obviously with a pedal like the diamond like I used to have th there was no blend knob So it was just you got either a compressed signal or uncompressed when you turned it off um, So w one of the coolest features and I'll get back to it in a little bit is is the blend knob on this guy But to, to show you really what the compressor is doing. I, I'm gonna turn the blend knob all the way uh, to the right there, so you're only hearing the compressed signal, so um, I'm just gonna kind of Normalize those guys, and you can hear how it sounds completely compressed. So you can hear that's actually working pretty hard. It's, it's squashing my signal pretty well, and uh, so I would. You know, one of the things I liked about the diamond compressor was that it's a subtle compressor. You couldn't really tell it was on. Um, obviously, the Deep Six has the capability to get far more compressed than the diamond can. Um, and, but, you know, so that's kind of what that sounds like. You can just hear it really squashing the signal. And um, the sustain knob here really tells you how much it's compressing basically or how how heavy the compression is going to be so you can roll it back it sounds like this so if i was going to use this pedal and it didn't have a blend knob that's probably you know about where i'd keep it cuz you don't it's um, i don't really like to be able to tell that the compressor is on if you can hear it sort of squashing and and uh, and breathing um to me, that's a little too much, and so that's that's a good spot for me. But um, you do lose a little bit of sustain because it's not compressing your signal as much. So if I roll it back up, you'll hear that you get a lot more sustain on on any notes or chords that you play there. So, and obviously this can go even farther. That's only at noon. So let's crank it all the way up. Here we go. It's giving me the most sustain it can possibly give me. So that'll sustain for like ever, it feels like. <laughs> Anyways, um, so th that's kind of the, the basic sound of the compressor. The other knob we have here is the attack knob. Um, 
And basically what the attack knob does is it it um, acts as a control for how soon the compressor will kick in. And so when it's all the way to the left, like this, um, the compressor is going to kick in pretty much immediately uh, without any delay. And so I'll show you what that sounds like here. <laughs> there um, you know if me I don't know if how many of you are familiar with kind of the audio uses and terms for compressors but uh, when you have the attack set really quickly like this what you're doing is you're really squashing down the transient so when I pick a note there's like a transient if you can picture the waveform there's like a big a jump and then it kind of tapers off um, what it's doing here is it's really squashing down that transient and um, squashing everything together so you can hear it working really hard at first to bring down the level of the, your initial pick attack. Right, so to me that sounds a little bit unnatural. That's not really what a guitar sounds like. You know, we're used to hearing the attack and I want to hear the attack. So that's, that's why the knob is here. So you can roll it back and get more of that attack back, get more of your transients back in your signal. So you can hear it, it's, um, um, you know, it's letting through more of that transient and you can go even farther. We'll just go all the way. through the compressor isn't kicking in until uh, a, a certain amount of time after it, it's detecting that transient right so um, you know if, I, if I'm still going for a more natural guitar sound um, I'd probably leave the attack knob about there <laughs> something like about there and then you know like I said before maybe roll the sustain back <laughs> So let's just compare. Here's my uh, here's my original signal. Okay, that's my original. Here's my new one. So I've got a lot more sustain, and I've got a lot of just kind of fatness to it, which I, which. That's you know why guitar players use compressors to get that sort of tone. Okay, so that is how you, I would use the Deep Six if there wasn't a blend knob. So let me show you how awesome the blend knob is, and this is to me the really cool feature of this pedal. Um, so I'm gonna let's see, I'm gonna put this back, put that about there, um, and I'm gonna roll the blend knob back to about half. So now I'm mixing half of my just original guitar signal with half of the compressed signal. So let's see what that sounds like. As opposed to, let's just go back real quick. And then, complete. this is basically the completely uh, unaffected signal. All right, cool. So, wh what's happening there is um, this is, uh, I'll even crank it up a little more. This is kind of an unnatural compressor setting to me. Maybe if I was like a country player, that'd be cool or something, but I don't, I don't really. I'm not liking it isn't the right word, but it's squashing it a little too much for me even though I like the sustain and I like the fatness that I'm getting from that um, It's it's not as natural as I would want, but instead of having to roll those knobs back all we have to do is uh, Blend back in some of that original signal So what the blend knob allows you to do is basically get the the best of both worlds you can get the fatness and the sustain from a little bit of maybe an overly compressed signal 
Um, but then when you blend the original signal back in, you, you get your transients back, you get the dynamics, and you get your attack back. And those are kind of the things you lose when you over compress a signal. And so basically what you do here is you get the best of both worlds, right? So um, to me, this is the fattest, um, most natural sound uh, I've gotten from a, a compressed signal. So let's check it out again. <laughs> sound unnatural you can't hear it like um you know like that breathing sort of pulsing sound you might normally hear from overly compressed signal um you don't get that and so and you clearly hear all the notes and you, you can even though there's part of the signal that's really squashing those notes there's part of the signal that's not and they're being blended together and it even adds to the overall fatness of it so um just one more time going back. Here's the fully compressed signal. That's pretty nice and fat sounding, but uh, you blend in the original signal. And it's even fatter because you're essentially laying the compressed signal on top of the uncompressed signal. And you're doubling up your sound, kind of. So you can, your guitar, to me, the guitar sounds the biggest it can possibly be in, in this situation. And obviously, um, this pedal is completely tweakable. Uh, I mean, I've, I've got the blend knob right at noon there, but uh, if you want more of just your dry signal, um, have it be more of a subtle effect, roll it back as much as you want. And that sounds nice. If you're really, if you're really looking for a, a nice subtle compressor, you can do that with this pedal. Even though it has the option to go um, be crazy compressed. And the cool, the cool part about it is most of the time I really do want just a subtle, um, a subtle compressed signal. So my normal setting might be, um, might be about there. <laughs> Maybe maybe a little more compressed than that, um, so th that's kind of a typical setting for me. But it's it's awesome to know that if if I needed um, to bust out like some country chicken picking licks or something, I can I can uh, crank that bad boy up and I can mess with the blend knob and still retain all the dynamics and and all the all the uh, original sound of my guitar if I want. <laughs> So, yeah, I really, really dig this pedal. So, yeah, and, and obviously the, the one knob I haven't talked about is the level knob. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I like it. Um, using it to actually um, hit my amp a little harder. See if I can do it. I don't know if I'm set up right to do it, but you can, at least with my amp, you can kind of overdrive it a little bit. So that's cool. I mean, it sounds it sounds really nice and full, even at the, the higher volume. So that's that's pretty much it. Um, the other thing I haven't mentioned is uh, you've probably noticed that awesome artwork on there, the anglerfish, and uh, this is actually a, a special edition run that Brady from uh, Walrus Audio did, and I saw it and I was like, that is awesome. I need to have that. So I don't know if he's planning on doing any more like that. The original design looks awesome too, with like this scuba diver dude on it. Um, but uh, and that, that's what I just love this company. I've got, I don't know if you can see in the shot right behind it, I've got the Mayflower and the Voyager overdrive pedals, uh, both from Walrus Audio as well. And um, I they're right now still my favorite uh, overdrive pedals that I have. And these guys are just making really cool stuff, I think. Not to mention the awesome designs that are on the pedals themselves. So um, 
yeah, if you're looking for a really versatile compressor that can really do, legitimately can do a, uh, a really subtly compressed signal all the way to a very, very compressed signal, um, this pedal can honestly do all of it. And, you know, I like the Diamond because it was really good at just being a subtle compressor. Um, and it's, it's really rare to come across a pedal that's really good at multiple things. And I think this pedal is absolutely one of those. So, um, yeah, if you're, if you're looking for a compressor, I definitely recommend this guy. Um, you know, and I've been playing a lot of like normal bluesy kind of folky riffs here, but within my kind of ambient guitar playing, this is also really nice because I can dial in uh, much more sustain. So if I'm doing swells, um, I'll kind of emulate it with my, uh, with my volume pedal here, or volume knob, um, you know, I crank those knobs up. And instead of the swell kind of dying out um, and, and everything fading off, it, it really sustains it, <laughs> right? That's what it's called. So um, it's really helpful for basically all the types of guitar playing I do. You know, the ambient stuff, it really makes everything bigger, um, more fuller sustain, you know, fatter sounding. Everything sounds better, right? So that's that's why I've got this guy and I'm really really happy with it so go check out Walrus Audio um, Brady and the guys make awesome stuff so anyways hope that was helpful if you've got any questions about the pedal uh, let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer them as best as I can thanks guys talk to you later